After this in-depth analysis of Georgia's current economic trends, I think it's time to turn to our relatively new, but already a traditional rubric, industrial review outlook a bit. At uh, this time, our senior reporter, Ani Tawadze, focused on main figures uh, for the medical industry. Here is our review outlook for the checkpoints. The year 2020 was a tough one for the pharma sector, from shortages of necessary equipment and medicine to the unforeseeable price adjustments due to lack of stability of the large exchange rate. The sector found itself on the front line of the fight against coronavirus. One of the first ones to take the hit were pharmacies. There are three main players in the Georgian pharmacy market, PSP, Aversi, as well as GPC and Pharma Depot, which are both part of the Georgian healthcare group. So, let's take a look at the public information about their incomes of previous years. According to the public information on revenues for 2019, GPC has the largest pharmacy network which operates 296 pharmacies across the country. Aversi Network with 268 pharmacists is in the second place, and PSP Network with 235 pharmacists is in the third place. In addition to pharmacies, these companies are also actively represented in the wholesale market of pharmaceutical products. They serve various clinics and take up state orders. According to the financial statements, the total revenue of all three companies in 2019 amounted to 1.5 billion lari. Among them, GPC is in the first place in terms of sales volume and net profit. Revenue of GPC and Pharma Depot in 2019 amounted to 611.8 million lari, while net profit stood at 51.6 million lari. For PSP, revenue in 2019 was 499.6 million lari, while net profit was 26.3 million lari. Aversi's revenue in 2019 stood at 335.5 million lari, while net profit amounted to 3.1 million lari. In 2020, the pharma sector faced a tough challenge, perhaps the most important factor, the uninterrupted supply of medicines, face masks and disinfectants to the citizens, was their responsibility. The first months of the pandemic were especially complicated due to the catastrophic shortage of these products on the world market, which was eliminated in May 2020 due to the stabilization of local production. There were deficits in certain products due to increased demand. We were able to bring in as many of these products as possible and thus eliminate the deficit. In the first stage of the onset of the pandemic, there was a shortage of face masks and hand sanitizers. The demand for these products could not have been calculated accordingly. Therefore, companies didn't have the appropriate amount of these products in stock. However, after increased demand, we tried and eliminated the mentioned deficit. Our main goal was to make sure that the country had enough medicines. Therefore, the supply of necessary medications was a top priority. The main task was to set up an effective logistic chain in the conditions of complicated production and complicated supply. We had to collect enough supplies. Most companies voiced their concerns about the frightening lack of stability of the lorry exchange rate, which puts the issue of maintaining prices and possible price adjustments at the center of discussion. As the executive director of the Association of Pharmaceutical Companies representatives in Georgia tells us, the structure of the medicines sold changed. Sales of prescription medicines increased for 8 percent. And uh, and uh, what it w w what this information gives us, it gives that it gives the idea that the people uh, were buying more medicines for some complicated cases. So and we can think that some people were buying medicines uh, like uh, some kind, they created some kind of stocks. The sales of the medicines uh, manufactured locally has been decreased by 14 percent, and uh, imported medicines has been increased for 4 percent. And transportation. Uh, cost was increased drastically, you know, when there's a limitation on the flight possibilities and transportation possibilities, the transporting companies, they increase the price. And, uh, and Georgian local manufacturer, local distributor companies, they try to avoid the price increase in the, in the um, uh, pharmacies. And if you add on this problem another problem, which is the devaluation of the local currency, 
and uh, he, of course uh, the local distributor companies they try just to maintain some kind of prices which can be which should be it shall be affordable for the population and uh, it, it's impossible to completely stay on the same level because the evaluation you know uh, the evaluation you know, still still continues as we said, the main challenge of the companies is the volatility of the Lari exchange rate, which is why most of them do not rule out price adjustments in 2021 and in the future. 75% of our products are imported. Therefore, we are very dependent on Georgian Lari exchange rate. So despite our great desire to maintain prices, the sharp rise of the euro and the dollar does not allow us to do so it will remain a challenge. Unfortunately, the volatility of the Georgian Lari exchange rate will lead to price adjustments. Some of the problems of the pharma sector that became visible during last year weren't necessarily the unique outcomes of the pandemic, but rather an extension of the already existing problems within the sector. So what are the issues connected to manufacturing practices and supply technicalities that the pandemic enhanced or helped better demonstrate? Many different uh, importers, even some physical persons, can import the medicines. And sometimes the importation of the medicine by this way replace the uh, regular supply of the medicines, I mean supply from the manufacturer till the uh, Georgia. But pandemic situation, when the, all the borders have been closed, you know, this kind of supply became a big, big problem. And this, uh, and uh, it's not easy again switch to the uh, regular supply because you know, it's, it's, it's a little bit complicated system, the manufacturing and the forecasting on the medicines manufacturing. So in that case, we had some uh, uh, cases when we had a shortage of the important drugs, like some oncology drugs, etc. And these cases show the problem that whenever some regular supply is replaced some alternative way, it can be very interesting and attractive from the financial point of view. But it can make a very negative impact on very essential thing like a continuous supply of the medicine. The local manufacturing drugs manufactured locally has been decreased. Why? First of all, because the local manufacturing standards are not yet in compliance with the international standards, are not in compliance and uh, are not matching the so-called good manufacturing practice uh, standards, which is already exist in Georgia. This We call it GMP, good manufacturing practice standards, and since 2019 we have it on place, but it's on the initial stage, and uh, some local manufacturers need to switch to those standards. It means a lot of investments because it's technical equipment has to be renovated, replaced. It's a huge investment, uh, but this process on initial stage. And again, the situation shows we need definitely need the local manufacturing uh, much better and much uh, higher quality. The year 2020 was a challenging one. However, the expectations and efforts for 2021 are directed towards stabilization, not only in the pharma sector, but in all others. So we shall wait and see how the sectors manage to recover and deal with the upcoming challenges. Hey guys, stay tuned, subscribe and follow us on BMG.